here it is. What is commonly known, no, not really commonly known, as the AMD 880K times 4 Athlon. I have a... I have the AMD 860K times 4 Athlon on my computer right now with the 1050Ti, 4 gigabytes, NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. Um, this one, I believe, is the fastest Athlon times 4 you can get. I could be wrong. There could be a 4.1 or 4.3, something a little bit above this. But this one's like one of the top end ones you can get. They have a 900 or a 910 or something like that K out, but it, it it's not as powerful as this one in my opinion. And this one's supposed to have come with the Wraith cooler, but I'm not entirely certain if the Wraith cooler is here, because eBay said I got two different tracking numbers, and I only got one box, but I'm thinking that it comes with the Wraith cooler as well. And I don't even think this one was meant to come with it. This one doesn't even say that it has... No, this one doesn't even say that it has the, the Wraith cooler with it. The A10, I had the, um, the A10 that came with the Wraith cooler... And I never ended up using it. I said I was going to do a review on it, but I never ended up using it because I planned on selling it. And I got this on eBay, and I got a good deal on it for 50 bucks, $54 um, dollars free shipping, which this thing is goes for 90 new, and it usually for used it goes for 60 to 70 So I got it for pretty cheap. It was in a bid, now I buy it now. And I really liked it. I only bid that once. I bid 54 bucks, and got it. I beat everyone else out that, that bid on it before. And I, I bid the day before it was supposed to end. So, it's time to open this bad boy up. Okay. Good news. Wraith Cooler is with it. Didn't even mention it on the box. It's probably why these aren't as well known. I'm glad they, they packed it very nicely. Here's the CPU. It's in the box incorrectly, but that's okay as long as it works. They apparently said they had it for a month, which is as long as I had my A10 for a month. And I spent 150 on the A10, and this one is way better than that, in my opinion. Even though the A10 was supposed to be higher clocked, it was supposed to be, um, was it supposed to be a 4.0 a 4 gigahertz? It didn't seem faster than my current one, which is, I believe, a 3.7 or 3.8. And normally, with, with even the, the, the additional point two you still get a noticeable boost but yes this here it is and it looks like they may or may not have the cooling solution on it so i may be in some trouble there the thermal solution but here's what it looks like your standard amd cpu look wrapped up they had the box and everything they they had just said they were, I don't see any spires that look like they're damaged. Nothing looks damaged on it to my eyes. Nope. So maybe they really did have it. Because, like I said, I had my A10 for a month. And I, I ended up reselling it for like 120 bucks. I was like, screw it. It really messed up my computer a whole bunch. It just, something with it just wasn't working properly. Here is the Wraith cooler. I'm actually going to install it this time because I need to. With with 4 gigahertz, I'm going to need to. The um, owner that I bought this from never told me if they if they uh, if they ever used this or not. And I think they said they didn't. But apparently the Wraith coolers are really good. They look very steampunky. They look very very steampunky. I can't wait to test this thing out. Apparently, you are dying for room once you put this in. This thing is so big. And it gets supposedly excellent cooling. Yeah, and I'm not seeing any thermal solution on this. No, I'm not seeing any thermal solution at all. So, I'm probably screwed. But, 
I'll try it because I don't think my CPU has that much thermal paste on it anymore. I think it mostly dried and crusted off when I replaced it with the A10.